Have you ever spent hours setting up your system and still felt behind? Everyone says Notion is the productivity king, but what if the free app on your iPhone does the job better? In this video, I'll help you stop wasting time optimizing your tools and start getting things done. By the end, you'll know which tool helps you to get more done with less and maybe rethink how you approach productivity altogether. I'm of course comparing Apple Notes and Notion, two of the most popular tools in personal knowledge management. I'll score them with multiple categories and add up everything at the end and share which one actually wins. And honestly, the final score surprised me, even though I wrote this whole thing. Starting with ease of use, which might be the most important thing for consistent long-term use. Apple Notes takes this category easily. There's no setup, no template building, no how do I structure this dilemma with Apple Notes. You just open it and you start writing. It's built into every Apple device and it syncs automatically. Notion, on the other hand, makes you think before you can write. You have to build or pick a template, name your databases, decide what properties to track before you even get started writing. The flexibility is powerful, but it's where most people get stuck. For ease of use, I'm giving Apple Notes a 5 out of 5 and Notion a 3 out of 5. Within ease of use, there's some subcategories that we should talk about, speed, navigation, and learning curve that make the decision even more clear. As far as speed goes, Apple Notes is one of the fastest apps I've found at capturing information. You can start a quick note from literally anywhere, any device, iPad, Mac, or iPhone, or you can use Apple's Assistant to even take notes in the car when your phone is connected to CarPlay. Whether any of those options or sharing information from any of your favorite apps, including Safari, it all works in a frictionless manner. There's no lag, there's no load screen, there's no which page is this going in for you to decide. You just get the information in, and if you want to sort it into folders or tag it appropriately, you can do that later. Notion can get just as fast once you spend a little bit of time building some systems and shortcuts, but again, that takes more time and more setup. Out of the box, it's just slower, and there's more friction from idea to entry. This one is pretty clear to me. Apple Notes gets a 5 out of 5. Notion gets a 3 out of 5. And we'll move on to navigation. The navigation within Apple Notes is where the app can start to feel a little bit limiting and where Notion shines once you get comfortable. Apple Notes has folders, tags, and smart folders, but that's basically about it on the customization front. But that's enough for most people. Notion, on the other hand, gives you so many ways to customize your system, move around, around information, navigate between pages, sub pages, there's slide overviews, database views, table of contents, board views, calendar views. There's a lot to take in, but it can be amazing once you dial in that specific process. The downside is obviously that confusion at first. Sometimes I just want to open a document and get information in really quickly. And I want that to open up in a full page rather than in some slide overview. For this one, I'm giving Apple Notes and Notion both a three out of five. Different strengths, but both have some trade-offs when it comes to navigation. And learning curve, you might've seen this one coming, but Apple Notes basically has no learning curve and that's one of its biggest strengths. Anyone can use it from students to executives and it effectively scales naturally with how much work you actually want to do. And if you do want to go even a little bit deeper into Apple Notes, I have an Apple Notes essentials guide that I'll link in the description down below. Notion is more like a blank canvas, exciting, but overwhelming. You kind of have to decide how you want to use Notion before you can jump in and just start writing. It's rewarding when it finally clicks, but it takes a lot of effort to actually get there. For learning curve, I'm giving Apple Notes a 5 out of 5 and Notion a 3 out of 5. And as far as cost goes, this one is pretty simple. Both apps are free for most people. Apple Notes at least comes pre-installed on all of your Apple devices, but it has no paid tier. Notion's free version is actually pretty generous. There are a lot of features in it. And unless you absolutely need Notion AI or you're working with a team of people, 
then you might want to consider going to a paid plan with Notion. They have $10 a month per user plans and $20 per month per user plans for basically businesses and heavy AI use. Because the free version of Notion is so useful, I'm actually scoring both of these the same, Apple Notes 5 and Notion 5. I think the majority of people can pick up Notion and use the free plan and be totally fine. On to features and functionality. Now, this is where things start to get interesting, where most people would assume Notion would run away with a score when you look into the features between Notion and a simple app like Apple Notes. Under the surface, Apple Notes really isn't all that simple anymore. It's gotten a lot of nice upgrades over the years that have made it one of the most popular apps for personal knowledge management. It is a meme for a reason. You can add links between notes, attachments, there's checklists, images come in fine, even scanned documents and voice notes, all without leaving Apple Notes. We've talked about the Quick Notes feature that makes it feel like a digital inbox that's always ready. It's not really glamorous, but it's solid. Notion, on the other hand, is where power users live. There are endless templates, databases, filters, relations, automations. You can make it whatever you want. But with that comes maintenance. Every update or new workflow means tweaking and testing to make sure it works the way that you want. Notes is stable. Notion is flexible. Depends on which one you value more. Within features and functionality, we have a whole new host of categories to score, starting with what I'm calling visualization and organization. Apple Notes feels like it was designed in a pre-personal knowledge management world. One note at a time, organized in folders. Sure, you have tags and smart folders. That's improved the situation a little bit, but it's mostly still linear. And you can't really see how your ideas connect. Notion flips that on its head. Everything can be turned into a board, a list, or a gallery view. You can build dashboards for projects or track habits visually. I love how in Notion, I can see everything that I have going on. All of my notes, podcasts, YouTube videos, anything that I'm writing is all in one easy to see dashboard. But with that additional visualization, it's easier to get lost customizing every little detail. For that, I'm giving Apple Notes a three out of five and Notion slightly better here at four out of five. Because apps like Obsidian and others have made note linking and visual note linking such a popular thing, Apple Notes supports internal links to between notes. You can link one note to another, which makes it way more powerful than it used to be, but things are still not automated. When you link one note to another, backlinks aren't automated. Because of this, things like the Forever Notes framework have made it a little bit easier to start connecting the dots between notes with hubs and various pages linked together, but it's far from a perfect solution. Notion's linking system is built in from the start. Because everything is kind of a database, you can relate all these things together. So you can create synced databases and filter views by connection, and it's all built in and native. It's also not perfect, but at least it's powerful. Apple Notes here, I'm gonna give it a three and Notion a four. And AI built into the apps may be a differentiator for some. A lot of people just don't care about this at all, but Apple Notes doesn't really have built-in AI. Sure, Apple Intelligence is here, but it's kind of so bad that it's not even worth mentioning. However, you can integrate Claude and ChatGPT via MCP now. It's not native, but it works surprisingly well to help you get summaries from your notes or brainstorm ideas based on things that you've drafted up. Notion AI, on the other hand, is a major step forward. It can even go as far as building databases and making relations and doing work for you now with their latest agent update. You can basically hand off all of the repetitive tasks that you don't want to do inside of Notion to the AI and it knows a ton about the software and has been really helpful to me as a beginner learning Notion to make sure I'm setting things up how I want them to be set up. Now you still kind of have to know how to prompt the AI and know how to ask what you want it to do, 
But Notion's biggest weakness is still setup time and any little bit of improvement that they can make to that, like adding the AI help, is worth it. The catch here is obviously that the AI is only in the paid plans, and if you want unlimited AI, you have to be on one of the $20 per month per user plans. $10 a month just gets you a trial version of Notion AI, but at least you, even in the free version, you can try out some of the features and see if it would work for you. On this front, I'm giving Apple a three and Notion a four. Search and discoverability. And this one hurts a little bit because Apple Notes used to have a pretty good search. I don't know what's going on lately, but it has been pretty terrible. I've searched for notes where I know the exact phrase or the exact title of the note, and I've searched for it in the search bar, and I just get the most meaningless results. I'm not sure. I have a lot of tags and smart folders set up. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but that's helped at least resurface some old notes. Otherwise, they are pretty much lost in Apple Notes. Once you throw them into an archive folder or if you bury them in some para structure, there really isn't a lot of discoverability within Apple Notes. Notion's search is pretty structured. It understands the contacts and filters and database properties, feels more like a Google search for your second brain. And for me, it's been working a lot better recently. For Apple Notes, I'm giving it a three, Notion giving it a four. And within this comparison, I'm going to talk about what I'm calling ecosystem and ownership. This includes things like security, privacy, cross-platform support, collaboration, and export options. So there's kind of two different philosophies at play here between Apple Notes and Notion. Apple Notes is private by design. It features Apple's end-to-end -end encryption. There's no data mining, and your notes live inside of Apple's secure iCloud ecosystem. Notion is cloud-based, unencrypted, and you rely on their servers for storing your information. That said, Notion works everywhere, Mac, PC, Android, iOS, even the web, while Apple Notes is stuck, obviously, on only Apple devices. Collaboration is another trade-off with Apple Notes. Sure, you can share notes with people, but it's definitely not built for teams. Notion thrives here. Shared workspaces, templates, and public pages make it ideal for teams and freelancers. Backup and export are weak spots for both programs. You can now export out of Apple Notes to Markdown, but you're basically locked into the respective ecosystem. So if you choose Apple Notes, it's obviously going to work best. Within the Apple ecosystem, there is an iCloud web interface to Apple Notes now, but I wouldn't recommend anybody outside of the Apple ecosystem to use Apple Notes seriously. And Notion, now launching Notion Calendar and Notion Mail, are building their own little locked-in ecosystem to try to keep you inside of all of their apps as long as possible. Apple features privacy and simplicity where Notion has more access and more flexibility. So what's my personal verdict then? Well, I've spent years inside of Apple Notes. It's my second brain, my journal, and where every YouTube script starts. It's fast, reliable, and basically invisible. It, for the most part, gets out of the way and just lets me write. But every few months, Notion tempts me back. The dashboards, the automations, the customizations. It's hard not to love now that it has clicked inside my brain. I'll spend a weekend perfecting my system, feel more productive for like a week, and then realize I'm spending more time tweaking the system in Notion than I am creating. It's fun, but not sustainable. So I keep coming back to notes because at the end of the day, it's just enough. If you've made it this far, you probably want to know which app won. Well, when I tallied up the scores, this kind of surprised me. Apple Notes came out to 53 out of 70. And Notion? Well, Notion came out with 56 out of 70. But the scores don't necessarily tell the whole story. And actually being that close, 53 versus 56, not that big of a difference. The real winner depends on what you value. You want simplicity or full control over how your system works. 
Sometimes it's great to go into Notion and have all of the information at my fingertips in a dashboard-like view, flip that to a Kanban system, then check my calendar for any of the tasks that I've scheduled off of my database. But the same can be said for Apple Notes and the system that I've built around reminders and calendar, intertwining all of this stuff together so that I try not to lose too much information out of my brain getting it into a digital system. If you're tired of bouncing between tools or wasting your weekends redesigning your system, maybe it's time to simplify. You don't need the perfect tool, you just need one that you'll actually use. So let me know what camp you are in, Apple Notes or Notion. And get subscribed for more productivity and product reviews coming your way soon. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.